Hi, I'm Clyde. I work here at Dave Smith Motors. I sell these fun little creatures we call the Jeep Wrangler. Uh, not only do I work here and sell them, but I also live here and I play in the hills that surround us with similar creatures. We're going to talk today about the Wrangler and everywhere from the budget-based uh, JK Sport to a little bit nicer Sahara uh, Latitude. And then if we want to get crazy, we can talk about the Rubicon. And if a guy really needs the fire-breathing monster, we can come over here to the 470 horsepower AEV powered 6.4 liter SRT8. So as I was picking the Jeep today, I had the red one, the white one, I thought the blue one, America. I was gonna grab another white one and then I saw this. I started looking at the options on this and I thought this is perfect. It's brightly colored, it symbolizes everything the Jeep's about. And then I looked at how it was built. It's got the right gears, the right axle option, the Bluetooth, the better sound system, but then again, if a guy's gonna take it on a trail, he doesn't want stuff that's gonna break, so it's got the manual crank windows. Uh, perfect combination of budget, simple, and capable. Person jumped into one of these, did a two inch pod lift and some uh, 295 70 17 or a 34 inch tire. You'd be dialed in and you could tackle anything as far as the eye can see around us. Rocks, trails, sceneries, get into that remote lake. This is your perfect entry budget wheeler right here. Gee, Clyde, that all sounds great. I really like the idea of the two-door sport, but I want something a little bit nicer. I've worked hard, I, I earn it, or maybe I just want a little bit more comfortable ride on the trail. No problem, let's talk about the Sahara. The beauty to the Sahara is you get things like the heated seats and the Alpine sound system as default. You get the body-colored fenders. Most of my Saharas will have the body-colored hardtop. A lot of people really like that look. It kind of looks like a G-Wagon, doesn't it? And the Sahara also incorporates the steps, which a lot of people like, because let's face it, they're not easy to get into. And then uh, this one, the Latitude package, gives you the blacked out grill, the black badging on, or the black uh, effect here on the hood, the blacked out inside of the bumper, and then the beautiful piano black wheels. And we're not gonna see the inside, but it's also got black leather and piano black inserts throughout. Now, all the icing aside, it is still the same cake that that vehicle is made of. It's still just as capable, still has the same traction control. I'm not gonna downplay the lockers on the Rubicon, but the beauty to the traction control is when you're out on the trail and you start to slip, the vehicle itself will actually give you capability that I didn't have in a basic uh, Wrangler 10 years ago. These out of box are one of the most capable wheelers on the planet. Slide, that's great. We've talked about the Sport, the Sahara, how they're the same mechanically. You know, I love the trail riding, I love this, but I'm ready for some adventure. I need to go hit some rocks. I'm not good with just traction control, but I still want the heated seats, the Alpine sound system, the Bluetooth, some of the features you get on the, the Sahara. No problem. Let's talk about the Rubicon. The beauty of the Rubicon, it is a true out-of-the-box wheeler, probably the most capable out-of-the-box wheeler in America. You get the heavier-duty Dana 44 front end, uh, withstand and eliminate breakage on the trail, which is important. You don't want to uh, have something inferior while you're out in the woods, which is why we do this. It gives you a electronically disconnecting front sway bar. Gee, Clyde, what does that mean? It allows it to flex and articulate over the rocks better and keeps more tires in contact with the ground. It also gives you an electric locking front and rear differential. The drawback to a mechanical locker or a constant locker is when you're on the pavement, uh, your wheels will fight each other. With this electric locking locker, it's gonna have the driving characteristics of an open rear end, yet still have the wheel capability of all the rigs you see in Moab and Rubicon, and everything on YouTube and the TV. And then this, we've taken through and we've modded a little bit. We've given it the, the Rubicon Express lift with the Bilstein coilovers and the more aggressive tires. It's got a lot better stance, it's got a lot better capability. And uh, this is ready to go right now out of the box. It'll take you anywhere in Moab, anywhere on the Rubicon. Anything you see on a YouTube, this little guy will do. And it's still powered by the extremely fuel efficient and uh, potent 3.6 liter Panastar V6. Clyde, both these two rigs look fairly similar. The red one's a little bit more aggressive. You wanna talk, talk to me about why? Well, just in case you need a little bit more than our V6 powered friend here in white. This little guy not only has the same lift, the same wheels, the same tires, the same mechanical advantages as this does with the heavier duty front and rear end, the electronic sway bar, so you, or disconnecting sway bar so you get your articulation, the lockers, but we made this one a fire breathing monster. When you sit in idle in the traffic, people will know this is not the run of the mill JK that they just passed down the road. They can hear the rumble of the Flowmaster enhanced exhaust of the 6.4 liter, 475 horsepower Hemi V8. 
this little guy will get it done. And let's just say that you're more into a mud type of a wheeling instead of a trail ride. Turn the traction control off and pin it to win it. This little guy will kick some rooster tails. So you can see at Dave Smith Motors, not only do we have the JK inventory, but we've got the uh, expertise. Let's get together. We'll take the dreams and the imaginations out of your head and translate it to the, uh, the perfect trail ride in your driveway.